All right, so we're doing a video here. I just got done blowing snow the second time today. Um, and the blower itself seemed a little noisy. And there can't be more than, uh, I wouldn't say 25 hours on the blower. I've only had it one season, that was last year. And uh, it seemed like it was getting noisy. And I, I thought maybe I sheared something off or I knew it's not the drive shafts because I checked those before I put them on. Um, in the book here though, which I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't been reading. I didn't read it all on the snowblower. It says that you're supposed to uh, adjust the chain. There's a chain in here with a sprocket. It looks like it's a number 50 chain. It's pretty heavy. And uh, there should be 3 16 deflection in that chain at all times. And it was uh, quite a bit more than that. Uh, I took the auger and I rocked it back and forth. And you'd actually get quite a bit of deflection in the chain. So um, the way you do this, there's two bolts on top here. Uh, these are 13 millimeter nuts. And you can see how this is slotted here. So you loosen those two, I loosen these two here. And then what you wanna do is take this whole plate where the bearing and that the smaller sprocket is mounted and you're just gonna take it that way. You don't have to put like a pliers or a, like a pry bar or anything in there. Um, because you just want this tight and there should be some deflection. They want 3 16 which isn't much and You can see here. I got some it's way tighter before I could take the chain and go up and down and you know being a new chain It's gonna it's gonna wear in some um, The biggest thing too when you move the plate You're probably gonna want to make sure that you got the same space From the slot to the nut on both top and bottom because if you don't you're gonna have that pulley in there a little different and you're gonna end up some some odd wear. Also, you're supposed to lubricate the chain every 25 uh, hours, which I'm pretty sure I'm right at that 25. I don't do uh, an hour's worth of snow blowing every every time a snowstorm. So, and I don't think I was out no 25 times last year. Um, I just used this. This is what I used on my uh, motorcycle. It's just a chain wax. So I just spun around and lubed up the chain some. Um, and then after you get uh, everything on this adjusted over and it's tight you're supposed to rotate the uh, auger um, and make sure that it's got the 3 16 deflection or whatever on it so you're also supposed to take it completely off the machine I left the hoses hooked up because you got enough and then if you you can actually tilt this ahead enough to work on it and it actually rests like that so that's nice and uh, like I said I just use the socket and right here just 13 millimeter deep socket to adjust that sprocket there in the chain to make sure it's good so there's not much to that so if you got the machine with the blower you might want to check that if it seems like it's uh seems like it's a little noisy i'm going to check it here in a second and see how uh how much quieter it is other than that there's really not much to do there's grease fittings in the front i already did that at the beginning of the season so so there you go All right, so one other thing we're gonna check here is uh, the gearbox here you're supposed to check every 25 hours or once a year. There's a set screw right in the middle here. And from what it says, you need to, uh, or it needs to have oil at the bottom of the hole. So let's take this out and see where we're at. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be oil there. It looks wet already. You know, there's not much of a thread seal on here either, which I might have to put put something on that. Probably put something on there. Maybe some Loctite. Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there's oil. It says the bottom of the hole. There's definitely oil there. So I'm gonna run this back in, and uh, ooh, I'm gonna run that back in. That's just uh. It says GL5, so what is that, 80W90 or 80W140? So I don't know, maybe I don't have to put anything on there. Maybe there's a little bit on there yet. I'll have to watch that and see. Yeah, I worked with a guy once installing a winch for a silo and loader, and uh, his job, he wasn't all there. His job was to take out the screw and add gear oil to the uh, winch or whatever. Anyway, he came back and said that he lost the lost the screw. 
the set the you know like the plug here where is it we're on a you know this is in a silage room so there's silage all over the floor you can't find a little black screw so we were just gonna grab one off the truck to put in there and the foreman came over and he's all like you sure you didn't run the thing all the way in and the guy's like no i didn't he's like you know if you start that thing up that winch up and that screw is in there he's like you're going to destroy that winch and then you know those things ain't cheap it's a pretty heavy duty winch it's lifting up a lot of a lot of weight well long story short he had him pull the cover off and sure enough he like pulled the you know it's similar to this pulled the cover off and that's that screw is laying right on top of the gear inside Ooh, did he get a butt chewing for that so yeah make sure you don't do that because that would be bad so uh, I'm going to run it here in a second and let you know what I think, if it's better or whatever. So that was good. Got the chain set up. That's basically all I have to do. There's also uh, some uh, grease zerk right here and then one on the opposite end is right here. Yeah, I got those already. So there's still, you know, this, that's not in the chain anymore, I don't think. Before I could really rock this back and forth, the auger. So that was partly due to the chain. So, there you go. Alright, so I got it on. It's definitely a little tighter than what it was. You can hear it whine. So I think I'll probably, uh, I'll use this tomorrow to clean the yard because we're definitely going to have some drifts and then tomorrow I'm going to get in here and yeah, they're slapping the chain. There's definitely some, some give, you know, maybe that's the way it's supposed to sound. It, it definitely wasn't sounding like that. It sounds to me like it's a little tight, but I'm going to let it go, let it wear in and then check it tomorrow and see. I'm, I'm assuming the chain will stretch, stretch some. So there you go.